Saint Januarius, this holy man fought to the death for the law of his God and did not fear the words of the godless, for he was built on solid rock. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We welcome you today as we celebrate Jan- St. Januarius, who died in the year 305, and history has shown that he was thrown to the bears under the rule of Diocletian, and then in, beginning in 1389, it was documented that his blood would liquefy on this day and other days in the year. He's the patron saint from, from Naples, uh, Italy. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who grant us to venerate the memory of the martyr St. Januarius, give us, we pray, the joy of his company and blessed happiness for all eternity through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Refuse no one the good on which he has a claim, when it is in your power to do it for him. Say not to your neighbor, go and come again. Tomorrow I will give, when you can give it once. Plot no evil against your neighbor, against one who lives at peace with you. Quarrel not with a man without cause, with one who has done you no harm. Envy not the lawless man and choose none of his ways. To the Lord, the perverse one is an abomination, but with the upright is his friendship. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but the dwelling of the just he blesses. When dealing with the arrogant, he is stern, but to the humble he shows kindness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord, who lends not his money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that will not become visible and nothing secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care then how you hear. To anyone who has, more will be given. And from the one who is not, even what he seems to have will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
We're beginning to hear from the book of Proverbs in our first reading, which is wisdom poetry. It, it teaches us how to order our lives, but it, it goes in lockstep with our gospel. Because today we're told, be the light of the world. Be a little bit more like Christ. We receive the light at our baptism. We receive the light all throughout our lives. We receive the light when we come to communion and show that light to the world to let people see a beautiful world that's in store for all of us, that we can be a part of, to help create a better family than we ever thought could be imagined, to have better relationships with others, and patience with others, and understanding with others. It's all about taking that light that we receive from God and showing it to the world. Who of us wants to really live in darkness I know I don't. Actually, there's a hurricane that hit Puerto Rico yesterday and it took out all the power to the island. But you know what? The light can still be there. The sun rises again today on that, that country, that area, that possession of, it, of, of, of the United States. But it opens up today and they can come out see and see the dawning of a new day and start really hopefully a cleanup with hopefully um, not too much... Um, damage and, and loss of life in the process with such a hurricane. But it took out the light. And yet we read in our gospel, we're called to be the light. So think in your own life as you begin this new day. It's the opening season to the home opener to the Buffalo Bills, um, second game of the year. And certainly there'll be a lot of fanfare in the night lights tonight where we light up that stadium but we can use the light of Christ this day to make it a little bit more light for someone else around us, to be a little bit more understanding in our relationships and a little bit more forgiving. So think about in your own life where you can be a light. And as this gospel tells us, the light's not supposed to go, you know, hidden behind a vessel, but place it on a lampstand by the way you order this day to let the world know that the kingdom of God can be had, can be had right here and now, and it starts with every one of us. May we today be a light to others around us. Please rise now for the intercessions. Trusting in God's providential love, let us join together and to present our petitions knowing that we're called to let our light shine before others, that they may see the good deeds and glorify the Heavenly Father. For the whole church, for as we begin this new Monday in the church year, may we be receiving of the grace of God to be a light to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the ways that we're shepherds, shepherds in our own family, our own communities, our workplaces, our schools, May we be led by the Holy Spirit in assuring right and just peace, prosperity, and freedom at all to all, all those entrusted to our care and those that we in interact with today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. There are people that enjoy walking in the darkness or choose to do that. For those who have turned away from God, that may they receive the grace of conversion this day. And may we help them just by the way we order our own lives toward holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community that participates here and also participates online, may they see God's guiding light this day in all of our collective actions that we all do together as a parish. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in Christ, today I celebrate a funeral for Carmine Duke, often known as Tony Duke. Pray for him and the whole family. We also pray for our Mass intention today, which is for Oscar Santiano Sr. Oscar's dad, right? Okay. Pray for him and also Betty's father-in-law, but for Oscar and all the faithful departed who handed down a beautiful fate to the Santiano family. May he inherit the riches of the kingdom, and may we meet him again. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those prayers that we voice now in the silence of our hearts.
and we make these prayers through the intercession of St. Joseph. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, hear our petitions and help us shine your light in this world. And we ask this all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Let's be God for you. Through the mystery of this water and wine, we become to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all, his holy church. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace, may we be set afire with that flame of your love through which St. Januarius overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Saint Januarius, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of the Highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In our own indirect way, let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr, St. Januarius, faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.